let's talk about the next question uh, question 7 says that the table gives values for a polynomial function f at selected values of x so there are some selected values of x and you know the polynomial functions are uh, values are given let g be a times f of bx plus c where a b c are positive constants okay in the function in the xy plane the graph of g is constructed by applying three transformations to the graph of f in this order a horizontal dilation by a factor of two a vertical dilation by a factor of three and uh, a vertical translation by five units so what is the value of g of negative four so in other words we need to determine what is the value of a b and c in order to in order to determine the value of the um, uh, of the value of g of negative 4 all right so uh, as soon as we know that uh, uh, the function g of x is a times f of bx plus c we do the activities you know of the of the transformations one by one so first we uh, first we look for what is the function gx when uh, uh, translated by uh, with a horizontal dilation of a factor of 2 so as soon as there is a horizontal dilation this is going to look like f of x over 2 because that's the horizontal dilation of 2 uh, then they talk about the vertical dilation by a factor of 3 it means that you know it is just three times of it so we just multiply three and finally there is a vertical translation of five which means that you just add five to it if you're wondering that it can be vertically translation down as well so notice carefully that they have already mentioned that all of them are positive so there's no confusion about that all you have to do now is replace x with negative four because as soon as we do that this is how it's going to look like and uh, let me separate my work over here so uh, this is going to look like all right so g of negative 4 is now going to be equal to 3 times f of negative 2 plus 5 and what is the value of f of negative 2 it's from here f of negative 2 at negative 2 the value is 5 so it is 5 over here 5 times 3 is 15 and 15 plus 5 is 20 which is option D. That's our final answer. Yeah. Hope this one makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay.